Greetings! Welcome to another edition of Odin Wright's Shit. Today I am finally going to get into the December ink drop, and it is still December, I think, by the time I post this. Um, Goulet Pens actually took a bit of a break from doing the ink drop for a while since October because of a lot of administration things, and they were kind of reorganizing how they were going to do the ink drop, and then they decided they were going to also get a new website design, so they were implementing that as well. Um, but in this edition, they actually gave us a surprise with two ink drops in the same go for the price of one, which is kind of cool. So they did a November and December one. I personally kind of would have wanted to see an October one because Halloween is my fucking favorite holiday and I just love Halloween things and yeah, but that's my only thing, but I'm only going to do the November one this time. Uh, which the theme was Autumn Leaves, which is fantastic. I love Autumn so much. Um, we are featuring Karandash. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. If someone could please correct me in the comments, that would be fantastic. Give me a phonetic spelling of Karandash. Karandash. I don't... Okay. Ass. Uh, anyway, the ink color in that brand is called Infrared. Deatramentis Sipia Brown. Diamine Red Dragon, Noodler's Operation Overlord Orange. That sounds freaking fantastic. And Pilot Orochizuku Yuyake. Which sounds amazing. Let us begin. I'm going to go and fast forward through these colors just to make it slightly more entertaining. Alright, let's go. Alright, and we're back. Um, I'm not going to go too much over Diamond Red Dragon because I've done that before in my random ink quest. I can post a link down below if you guys want to check that out. Um, and I have to double check, but I think I have done Sepia Brown as well. Um, can we talk about Noodler's Operation Overlord for a minute? Because god damn, that thing just went like soaking into the paper. And just, holy crap, this is Rhodia 41 pound paper. And I. Bleh, it acts like a watercolor, except not. Like, it just soaked immediately into it. And in the regular notebook paper, it. Like, the ink is transparent. The paper is practically see through because of it. I. Blah. Um. Yeah, well, in terms of notebook paper, um, I'm kind of actually liking the infrared. It uh, behaves really nicely. Um, and the Yuyake is pretty nice, too, because it's a lovely little orange. I'll have to look up what that translates to. Um, in the back, you're probably not going to want to use these colors for a regular notebook because they bleed quite profusely, and that's pretty much a lot of the reds. Um... You might be able to get away with the infrared and the yuyake on like a fine point without bleeding so much and not hitting so hard, but not my first picks. So let us check the waterproofness. If I remember where I put my damn brush. There we go. That's to be expected. Slippy up brown. Yep, that's gone. <laughs> That's kind of nice. Oh, Jesus. Well, that's interesting. Alright. Pretty much kind of expected with the reds and the oranges. Um,. This one is just behaving really weird. It's got really heavy yellow twinges. Like, it's not swiping away orange. It's swiping away nuclear yellow. But, um, 
kind of fun. Noodlers is kind of pretty awesome in what they do. But um, these ones are probably not going to be the best pick for waterproofness, obviously. But um, I'm kind of liking the color of Yuyake. So I might be picking up a bottle of that. But uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys gotten the ink drop and uh, tested this out? And I'll let me know what your opinions are. And I will be doing part two shortly, provided I have time. Um, look forward to that one. And I will see you next time. See you guys later.